What do you see is the biggest difference between Gormaya and other clubs you have participated honestly, in? Honestly, like, honestly, like, Gormaya, like, it was way different. Like, we were actually really good. You know, our team, amazing. Uh, Teammates, good, good chemistry. Oh, one is a good coach. Right, because with uh, Gormaya, like, we were getting really taught, and, you know. Yeah, Gormaya's coach was really, really smart on what he was doing. Yeah, the tactics and you know how we how we train it was way different, way different environment. Yeah, yeah. he improved from that. Yeah, he really he really talked to us during the whole thing. He really he was always supportive. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I agree with what he says. Yeah. With Gormaya, I actually felt the the the, the passion to play and. and and, and the willingness to play for my team and not just for myself. And like playing for Gormaya gave me that extra 10% that won games. Well, I'd say it's probably because I was playing with, with you know, friends that I've been playing with my whole life. And um, the coach was, was, was really supportive in, in all the act, in, in all our, in all our training sessions, in all, in all our games, you know, made us feel good, made us feel good enough to play. Uh, it was hard. Well, it was like fun and hard at the same time, knowing that you kind of had to be the leader and he was always looking to you to do stuff, do the extra mile stuff. So, but it was also cool having him there because I learned a lot from him. And it was more like at that time, it's more like he's a coach, not a not a dad. So I get to see different sides. But it was hard too having him there. I think that's the main thing was that it's not always about winning. It's about how you grow as yourself, how you grow as a team, and how you grow as a player. That's probably the main thing because Gormaya, we, the coach, didn't care about winning. He cared about are you learning the concept of the game? Are you learning how to play the game right and playing it efficiently? And I think that's the most I learned from him. a lot of adversity like not having like the most like not having the the most nicest things like not having the best training facility and uh just just playing the game we didn't have like all the training facilities like to what park has now and just like not having all those nice things but we still improve and i think that's the best way to learn is not having the best things is learning what what you got. Um, kind of knew we had to go the extra mile. We always had to be more than like everybody else around us because he expected more from us than anything. We had to be the natural leaders. We couldn't be frustrated if things weren't going well. We had to keep other people motivated during games and just. We had to be the leaders of the team. Um, kind of like the culture surrounding the team. Like on this team, like there's a bunch of people who look like me, and on other soccer teams I've been on, that's never the case. I'm usually the only black dude out there, or like one of like two or three. So like having a bunch of people who look who like around me who look like me was nice. Another thing that was kind of different was like we were all still in the learning stage, so winning wasn't the number one concern. We just focused more on getting better, learning concepts, and just the wins followed after. Gormahia started, uh, the mayor of Kansas City had a mayor's night.
kicks or something like that where you know we'd kind of gone in to just you know Kansas City Missouri man uh, you know, was running a program of some uh, youth uh, so I had gone over there just to watch some Somali kids play and ran into uh, uh, a guy who's become a good friend uh, Dwayne Bright who kind of you know found out that you know I had started coaching some kids at, at Freetown and he said you know there's, there's, there's a targeted there's a, there's a group of youth who never have the opportunity, you know, mostly immigrant, mostly, you know, in the in the inner city, uh, simply because they, they don't have the money, they don't have the ability to, you know, kind of drive out into the suburbs and and uh, get to play. So that's really how the concept started. And we focused on some kids, you know, actually it was more like instead of them coming to the game, we brought the game to them. And so that's, that's how I got my head started. I mean, I've got, you know, some kids, you know, from, uh, you know, playing in college, those who, you know, pursued uh, several all-conference players, uh, you know, that, that have achieved. So those who stayed through, yeah, absolutely, uh, would I have liked the team to continue and, 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 and expand on it. It's, it's a little bit tough now because my own kids have kind of moved on and, and, and the schedule's a little bit tougher. But generally, yes, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, I, I have no regrets.